Hello everybody, Paul Rose here and welcome to my new video, a long overdue video, which I will be describing, explaining, demonstrating how I set up Amplitude 4. And I'm going to be showing you two settings um, that I use exclusively on all of my YouTube videos, uh, especially this one, especially this first one, okay? So we are using, the first thing we're going to do is we're opening up this first amp, which is called American Tube Clean 1, okay? And um, we are going to check, first of all, that the reverb spring here is deactivated. This is on zero, okay? Treble, back to about four middle back to about four uh, master volume around seven or eight so we're driving the power amp there the output valves 50 watt al34 tubes okay so next we're going to uh, add a bit of compression go to dynamics and as you'll see here the settings are a little higher when you open it but i um <clears throat> I pull these back to about 50-50, yeah? So this is like, you know, just a little bit of smoothing. And uh, this is going to sound like this. So that's your basic sound, okay. Now what I will do is, is I will add um, a bit of distortion, okay. Now what I usually do here is I use a pedal called an Amplitude Overscreen, which is obviously based on the Ibanez Tube Screamer. Now your driver's on maximum as default when you open it, so pull him all the way back, okay. Pull your tone back to 50% and pull your level back to about 50%. So there you are okay you don't want uh, to begin with at least you don't want too much you don't want too much distortion um, and that's going to give you a sound like this <laughs> Nice kind of driven sound. Um, now, going back to the reverb and the delay. Um, let's put the delay above the reverb. You want to put, you want to, you want to reverberate your delays, not the other way around. So, how I have this set, I will have um, left to right. You have left to right. You have mono. You have left center right. You have double. You have stereo. I have it left to right. So it pings between the two. Um, decay time is entirely up to you. Obviously, the BPM here is about um, whether or not you've got a click running, which in this case we don't. The feedback, you don't want the feedback to be too long. So I will pull the feedback way back. Okay, so it's, it's literally too... Um, it's literally two repeats, you know, so it's going to sound like this. And the reason I only have two repeats like that is because um, if your repeats are going on too long, um, you're going to have things from two, three, four bars ago that you played that are still in the mix. In, Again, about production, it depends what your production is. Is it a slow song and you want echo to go on into it? If it's a guitar solo and the note that you're listening to now has a note of an echo which is four bars old, that kind of gets in the way a little bit. Okay, the mix I'll pull down to about you know seven or eight. Um, reverb, um, I would have the decay time on the reverb kind of about five or six. 
um, mix kind of yeah not too high we don't want it to be too 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 drenched okay so now basically we've got my that's the sound that's the sound that I use and it's like this <laughs> That's basically it, okay? Now, what I do is I will automate this drive um, when I'm mixing. That's a whole other subject. That's a whole other book. But the more drive needed um, for a solo, you know, depending where you are. Um, so if I turn the drive up a little bit, we're going to get this kind of sound. <laughs> So that's that's one of the sounds that I use. This is a sound that I use a lot. This is a sound that I use all the time. For the carb, I use the 410, which, which comes up with that American clean tube. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, for the other sound that I use, um, we'll leave these pedals as they are. And I go to the amps, and I'm going to go down, 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 down to uh, an amp called British Tube Lead 2 and well, I don't think we're going to use the over scream on this and so let this be said from the from the very beginning that if you're going to use a Marshall amp in the real world I'm not talking about software compensation here I'm talking about a Marshall amp you need to pull this treble way back and the middle because it can get really harsh on the top end on these marshals uh, you also want to get this re spring reverb here you want to get this off okay um, and then you've got this beautiful delay and reverb which is supplied in the rack which is perfect if you're using a, if you're doing something which is kind of topical or a production thing where you need that spring reverb you know let's have a listen to the spring reverb why not the reverb that's built into the amp just kind of having it about there okay you're gonna get this sound <laughs> which is a surfy kind of sound I said well surf twang it really twangs but I will kill that and I will use these beautiful studio um, reverbs and delays uh, so let's just have a listen to how that sounds like that let's just have a listen to that basic sound So that's a nice kind of uh, classic sound. It's got a lot of reverb on there, a lot of delay, I suppose. Okay, uh, carb. Okay, not my cup of tea, ladies and gentlemen. I will go for the um, the two twelve every time. Two twelve closed vintage. 
Yeah, that's more my cup of tea. Let's have a listen to that. sounds like to me now if we want to go all in um which sometimes we do this is a this is a, this has got a lot of drive i mean you know i can i can put the gain up to like six which interestingly enough in the real world if i'm using a 50 watt marshall head and i just have to tell you that i've got it set at 50 i had it set at 100 50 watt el34s if you're using a marshall head i find that the sweet spot where the tubes and the preamp and the tubes and the output start to really get to come to life is around six when you get past six a lot of these classic albums of robin truer and hendrix and deep purple and that when they're using these marshals that they've got the amps on full volume and that's why they sound great um and obviously if you've got a hundred watt marshall head in your bedroom you can't get it you don't get a chance to wind it up you know, if you're playing Hammersmith Audi and you do, and that's why, that's the difference. Um, so anyway, you know, with the gain, with the amount of gain that you have on these amps, there's not a lot of need for a pedal. Uh, and that's kind of my, that's kind of how I do things live in the real world. Word of advice, not necessarily to do with software or anything, but don't get too dependent on the pedals. Um, my advice is to uh, develop your relationship with your instrument. You and your hands and the guitar and your amplifier will amplify that relationship. That's the name of the game. For me, that's what it's always been, you know. So anyway, that's pretty much the sounds that I use an Amplitube for. It's pretty straightforward. I'm either using a governor pedal or I'm using the uh, Overscream the um the copy of the ibanez tube screen uh, i'm either using the marshall 50 or the american tube clean one uh in the in the american tube clean one i'm using the four tens which are standard fender nice and sparkling great sound in the um in the marshall i'm using the 212 vintage closed Rack, bit of delay, bit of reverb. Probably more on today than I would normally use, but it's getting the point over, you know. So that's that's kind of it. That's the way that I do it. I hope that this is useful. This video is a precursor to um, this video is a precursor to a demonstration of the new IK Multimedia Leslie speaker cabinet, which they've just launched, which is fantastic. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, once this is online, I will be starting work on that video. So if you're looking at this on YouTube, you can be pretty sure that I'm behind the scenes preparing the Leslie demo. Okay, great. Hope you like it. Like, subscribe, share, discuss. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.